In-car navigation systems are hot sellers today for a good reason. They keep us from getting lost. But if you've ever wondered how they gather all the information about the streets, let's go for a ride with a couple of guys who help do it. Speed 35, the center turn lane. John Reinerson and Tim Totten are geographic analysts for a company called Navtech, which supplies map data for most of the navigation units in cars today. We're just collecting uh, the data along the route. What we like to do is get the first and last addresses on a uh, road between two intersections. Navtech uses more than 80,000 sources for its maps, including data from cities and the post office. They also get tips from the more than 100 million users of Navtech maps every day. This is combined with what the field force gathers on the ground. New roads and subdivisions are being added all the time. The Navtech field data collectors search out those new areas so they can update the maps as quickly as possible. Where I'm standing now is just the kind of spot that the geographical analysts from Navtech are looking for. A brand new, pristine subdivision, uncharted territory. Their tools are a GPS unit and laptop in the trunk and a GPS antenna on the roof. They'll get the information from numbers on houses or however they can. I think it does say Magnolia. Magnolia. Oh. I like to be the first one in a new neighborhood. I like to be the first one across a new bridge and like to get it to customers as fast as possible. They get there so early, in fact, that sometimes they run into the people in the middle of building those roads. The result is the latest map data for customers' navigation systems, including 3D models of buildings in many cities. At the end of our data gathering trip, the Navtech analysts spotted something they don't see every day, a personalized license plate that would have fit very well on their car. After all, they are the map men. For Autonet TV, not lost, I'm Scott Newell.